A common problem for lifeguards working on the water is that when a person is found, it's still a problem to get them on board. The designers of this vessel offer a solution. It's equipped with a special net, which allows first aid to be carried out much faster. In the time it takes to lift two victims aboard an ordinary lifeboat, six people can be lifted onto the net rescue boat, and doctors can get to work 30% faster. In addition, the platform with the captain rises to a height of about 16 feet, which makes it easier to monitor the waters. Also, according to a review, these boats will be of interest to regular customers too. You can have fun with the net on the water. Let's check out this VTOL drone. It's manufactured in South Africa and is used for a variety of tasks, from border control to searching and rescuing lost tourists. There are several models to choose from, too. One of them is capable of flying for about 12 hours for 559 miles. The manufacturer is ready to create a drone tailored to the customer's wishes, for example, taking into account additional requirements for attachments. The drone is fully modular. The assembly and flight preparation procedures take about 10 minutes, and it's recommended to have a two-person crew to operate it. One will take care of piloting, and the other will take care of subsystems, mission planning, and other tasks. You are looking at a concept for saving airplane passengers in emergency situations. According to the author of the project, the study of available data allows us to talk about a systemic crisis of passenger safety. One of the solutions is this pod. In case of emergency, it separates from the plane and, using parachute systems, lands gently. According to calculations, with the introduction of the system, the aircraft cost increase will not exceed 2% and then will be made up for with a significant competitive advantage – better safety for passengers. And to keep the weight of the plane unchanged, it's enough to put fewer seats and to use lighter materials where possible. Opinions are divided in the comments, though. Some people support the idea, while others say that in many situations, e.g. in case of a spin, it is useless. What do you think? Next in line is an advanced life buoy. It has an electric motor and a remote control. The designers are confident that it will fill the gap between conventional foam buoys and jet skis, allowing for faster and more efficient rescue operations. The Dolphin 1 weighs only 28 pounds, and even a single person can easily throw it in the water. The speed is up to 7.5 miles per hour, and one charge is enough for about 30 minutes. Controls are designed to be as simple as possible, with a communication range of 1,640 feet. The jet engine is optimal for work in muddy waters, and all systems are adapted to salt water. Visibility is provided by bright orange hull and built-in fog lights. A special mount allows you to install a camera. Here's some help for firefighters. A robot with a 300 horsepower diesel engine that's ready to pump 2,113 gallons of water per minute. The powerful pump can handle up to 361 feet of water, and the sturdy body and substantial weight of about 8,600 pounds will help move obstacles out of the way. The robot is controlled remotely, and the range can be increased to about 2,000 feet if desired. It moves at about 3 miles per hour. Various layouts are available, making the robot suitable for a wide variety of fires, such as those in oil refineries. Fishing enthusiasts assemble. You'll probably be interested in these suits. They'll not only provide buoyancy, but also keep you warm. In particular, one version meets an international protection standard, which implies a decrease in body temperature by no more than 2 degrees C during two hours of swimming in water at a temperature of 10 degrees C. The suits are also equipped with a reflective insert and a whistle, and are designed to withstand precipitation and wind. One of the options is also the lightest on the market. Seven sizes allow you to find options for any body type and different versions will come in handy for hunting, hiking, and other outdoor activities. For example, the 848XR offers 11 pockets and Kevlar knee pads.
Here is another drone, this time for medical purposes. It's designed to support the US healthcare system and helps with the delivery of medicine to remote or isolated areas. Within the Air Method network, drones are used in more than 400 US hospitals. The drone has a cruising speed of 62 miles per hour and a range of 68 miles. The payload is up to 13 pounds and no takeoff or landing site is needed. An uncovered area of lawn will suffice. In addition, this delivery option is more environmentally friendly, and the extensive analytics and data evaluation capabilities offered by the vendor will enable the development of unique solutions for any particular medical facility. This is an interesting system for water rescue operations. It allows you to cast a rope to a distance of about 984 feet. The design allows you to do the task alone as well. It weighs about 9 pounds and is equipped with an ergonomic handle. It's referred to in specialized catalogs as a line thrower. To use the line thrower, simply remove the cap, find support, you can rest the system on your leg, remove the safety pin and pull the special ring. The diameter of the cable used is 0.2 inches and the braking force is at least 2 kilonewtons. A solid fuel rocket guarantees a highly accurate flight path. Spare rockets, as well as special buoyant heads, can be purchased separately. This rapid evacuation system was designed specifically for offshore drilling platforms and similar facilities. The special chute can extend 266 feet and rescue up to 159 people in just 10 minutes. Life rafts are located underneath. The design is patented, and the chute can be used in the harshest conditions, from 149 to minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit. It's divided into cells with speed-retarding slides and allows for evacuees wearing life jackets, survival suits, and breathing apparatus. The storage container is explosion-proof, and the system includes integrated life rafts. The total capacity of the rafts in the SES-2A version is 200 people. Here's an interesting solution for airports, a system called EMAS. It improves the safety of takeoffs and landings by gently stopping the aircraft in case of any problems. The system requires no consumables or power, which means that it's completely passive and ready to work 24-7. It's made of foam glass, a light porous material slightly similar to hardened soap foam. This approach allows them to offer customers reasonable prices and quickly replace the coating. In addition, the aircraft mechanisms are not damaged and the risk of passengers and crew getting injured is minimized. The system meets the standards of national aviation authorities of France, Italy, Japan and the USA. The team has implemented more than 100 projects in airports around the world and points out that EMAS is suitable for both new and old runways. So, what do you do when it's nearly night time and the search and rescue operation isn't over? The answer is simple. Use drones adapted for work in the dark. Unlike their counterparts with infrared sensors, these drones offer a 2000 lumen lighting system. The fact is that data from infrared sensors is not always transmitted to the headquarters accurately and promptly, and it's much easier for operators to fly drones with lighting. In addition, there's an increased likelihood that those who are lost will notice the brightly lit drone and give a signal. The Surefire LED unit is located next to a high-quality Sony camera, and the drone successfully passed test drills and was used for mapping an area at night. Tsunamis are a huge problem for many regions. For example, in 2004, after a powerful earthquake in northern Indonesia, 14 countries experienced the consequences of the tsunami it caused. To save as many lives as possible, engineers around the world are coming up with different rescue systems, and one of them is on your screen. The Tsunami ESP system is a rescue pod that holds four people. 
Thanks to its inflatable design, it's easy to store at home. It even fits in the closet. The pod easily withstands spinning in the stream of water and can be activated by one person. At least seven prototypes were built, but the author hasn't been able to meet the $75,000 goal on Kickstarter. Some users are convinced that there was a lack of publicity, because almost no one knew about the pod. Are you eager for a reboot of the project? Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.